Indonesia and in today's video I will be reacting to the finale of season two of Miss Kobayashi's Bay Dragon. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one. Hold on. <laughs> in three, two, one, go. <clears throat> Okay, sorry, because, like, your girl just found something out. I'm so happy. <laughs> Looks good. You want to go? Yeah, I think it just depends on the person, you know. A salon concert look interesting. <laughs> Oh. That makes sense. And of course, no matter what, she's happy to help. <laughs> What's up, better do? <laughs> oh, well, come on. It's going to be like a family outing. So, yeah, you have to wear one. <laughs> yeah, I like that one, too. <laughs> ready to try all them damn sweets. She's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh look, my 
be if you get caught up with the hair belly. What's your thing? Oh my god. Honestly, that sounds really good. It's a lot. Oh my god. Well, okay, Elmo, why don't you go to all the other stands first and then come to this one last? I mean, that's the best thing I would do. But then if they run out, you're screwed. Right. No. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Hell, you know what? Even in like Chloe, because we haven't heard about Chloe since last week. I don't care what people tell me, they are dating. They dating. Mm-hmm. So like you're in the between. For both. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, Elma. Oh, he's so precious, my precious son. Yeah, you don't have the ants right now. Of course, because he's still a little kid. <laughs>
I'm dying. Oh my god. Stop it. Mm -hmm. You have a right to voice your opinion and your feelings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> If you don't hold her damn hand. No, my babies. pretty and besides it might be fun I mean, but hold up. Is everybody here? Yeah, basically. Stop talking. I know, right? It's really peaceful. Hmm? <laughs> really? 
Really, you three? Huh? Huh? Oh, babe. Drunk enough. <laughs> yes, show it to talk. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this is heavy dumbbells all over again. <laughs> Seriously? What the absolute fuck? Oh, come on. We all know how that's gonna go. Bro, your arm is gonna fucking break. Oh shit, damn. <laughs> uh, of course Tora is planning something, but what the fuck is she planning? Well, damn. I mean, hold up, but it's, it's not cheating. <laughs> That's cheating, though. But it's okay. <laughs> no. Something kind of tells me, like, when we get to the ending of this, we might hear the first opening from season one. Oh, my God, if we do. <laughs> the memories.
right? Damn. That was so fucking cute. <laughs> read that after okay so final thoughts on this overall season I really truly and loved it so freaking much since it's been a really long time since season one came out in 20 2017 because it was winter 2017 and I I had just started out with my first channel and everything and at that time I think I was only watching like three or four shows um I think, because, like, what the hell? I was watching Keijo and Magical Girl Rising Project from fall. Then I watched Yuri. Um, then I watched Love Live. And then somebody, people asked me to watch this and Kimono Friends. And I never would have thought that this show and Kimono Friends would have been, like, the top two shows for my channel. And then, like, so many other things. And also Saga of Time and Evil, that's also what I'm forgetting. Um, would have been like the biggest top top things out of all the things that I've reacted to from fall 2016 up until now um, for several different channels that I've had and this was one of those that I when I finished season one like I was a <laughs> I was a mess and I was thinking there is no way in how we are ever truly getting a, a second season because 50 out of 50, you never really truly know. It's always with, like, the situation with the manga and how close they are with it. And if they do decide, they're probably going to do, like, a certain amount of length. It's almost like how with... Ter bleh, I cannot speak. Oh, my God. With Typical Shonen and how they don't want to be um, somewhat close to the most recent chapter. And then they'll just go on this, like, big, gigantic, filler freaking arc. Which sometimes is not really necessary, but I get it. Um, and then next, you know, <laughs> it just spins out of control. But the fact that we had to wait so many years later to finally get a second season, 
and I was expecting like Toru and Kobayashi to get married and really hearing Kobayashi officially say to Toru that she does love her and that she wants to be with her for the rest of her life and everything. I mean, in a way, she kind of did, but it's just in her own special Kobayashi way. Uh, the, <laughs> the runaway bride situation? What the absolute hell? I loved it. I love the way how they did it. It kind of reminds me of all these damn TikTok videos that I've seen where it's like an anime character and they're like, oh yeah, if you're deciding to get married and insert anime guy or anime girl comes up, like, what you about to do? And everybody's like, Psh Shit, I'm belting out. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. I mean, but I would do the same thing, despite who it is, especially for anime guys. Um, but I really, truly enjoyed this. I think Iridu was a really nice introduction to this series for the second season. I think she was a really good character. Still kind of wish she had, like, a little bit more, um focus on because I get it you're you're giving everyone focus and sometimes it's a little hard to give like the newest character like the biggest focus because still she kind of did get the biggest focus but in, in like the first half the second half went was wait, 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 I can't still speak oh my god my words the second half of this show continued focusing on the relationship of Kobayashi and Toru which how season one particularly ended and such and so that was kind of my biggest thing coming into this because I was like how are we going to um contribute or balance the relationship of getting to know Itadu versus the relationship of Kobayashi, Kana, um Toru, Loka, Shota, and literally everybody and also introducing this new girl at the same time. Hell yes, like I've said last week, I would still love a season three, depending on where the heck the manga, where they currently are in the manga and such, and where this, like, possible chapter or last episode ended in Ish, because this could also be, like, a whole filler part that they just did, and they were just like, hey, we're gonna do it just to do it. But I really, truly and loved love this so freaking much and I hate the fact that this is over because it's just like it went so freaking quickly like hella quickly and now we about to be in freaking fall anime next week and I'm like bro <laughs> between that and my birthday next month on the 18th it's coming too fucking quickly and I'm like <laughs> we were just in the summer but between you know so it's still with COVID and even though COVID's not as bad it is but like people say here in florida it still truly is and shit like that it kind of goes by really fast kind of slow at times but yeah i really am gonna miss this show hell probably knowing myself i'll maybe one day i will rewatch both season one and season two because like i said i don't it, it's been a long time since i watched season one and i may go watch it just to like reminisce about certain things and laugh about some of the stupid things i said in my old videos even though like where can I kind of find some of my old copies of Kobayashi? Probably really in like mashups and ish. So, but yeah, I really personally enjoyed this. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entire second season of Miss Kobayashi's Maid Dragon. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys sometime, not really next week, but the first official week of my birthday month. For whatever the hell I'm watching, I already made my list, it came out today, but whenever, whatever the fuck on whatever day one of my shows comes out, that is when you officially see me the next time. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!